Hello everybody and welcome to part 11 of my Final Fantasy 7 Let's Play. And we begin this part here with being in captivity. And if you remember before we got caught in the elevator by the Turks. So now we're in the holding cells here. So uh, while this is going on... Um, you guys can just read the text uh, while I'm talking here. Um, so, I wanted to do a little explaining um, on why this video was um, late and then why it's uh, coming on a Wednesday instead of um, on my usual Saturday. Uh, I, 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 this past Monday, um, I had, um, I live in Florida here and I went to the beach and um, <laughs> I was a retard and I didn't uh, put any suntan lotion on when I went to uh, a little party with my friends and I was even offered and I refused and then I'm just like, eh, I don't need it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I regretted that. Uh, I got uh, sunburned uh, really bad, kind of. I was I was actually really red. Uh, but anyway, so f uh, flash forward uh, to um, this coming uh, sat uh, you know Saturday, and uh, I'm just like you know what I'm I I just need some time to heal. And um, I I was at that point I was I don't know I was like ninety percent recovered. Like, I had peeled, and I was, um, the redness of it was, uh, pretty much almost gone. And I just, I just needed that little break. So, um, so I just took the time to, uh, just take a little breather from, for, for Saturday uploads, and I just wanted to wait until, uh, Wednesday to upload again. Um, that way I, uh, like I said, so I can, um, just kind of relax a little bit and, um, do what I can to get fully recovered. Uh, and at this point, I am fully recovered. So, that's why I'm uploading <laughs> right now. So, uh, what I'm doing here is, uh, from now on, uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, videos are actually going to be now going on Wednesdays. And um, the Hobbit stuff will be coming on Saturdays. So, um, just a little swap it's nothing big. It's not changing any of uh, my schedule or anything like that. So, it's, um, it's not, I guess, whatever. Um, just letting you guys know that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna... Not gonna... My friends are not gonna let up about me getting sunburned and not <laughs> getting that sun that sunscreen on. So, yeah... But at least in the end, I got a good uh, a good tan. Um, at least at least at the, out of all that, I didn't uh, I didn't get like sun poison or anything like that. So that was good. So, anyways, that's enough of that story. Um, so now let's move on to what's going on. And, uh, so what happened here was, um, I, I have custom music, uh, um, for when I'm playing, and, uh, sometimes it doesn't want to loop, and, um, so it just doesn't, doesn't want to play again, so it just goes silent for a good while until it either changes the, the scene or something, but, um, eh. So, you just pr pretty much, uh, just talk to everybody. If you want to. I mean, I guess you don't necessarily have to. Um, you can just get some story on uh, what they're thinking right now. Um, but other than that, uh, you can just say, you know, I just want to go to sleep and you know, we'll proceed with uh, moving the story along. So, and I'll just say, get some sleep and here we go.
So when Cloud wakes up here, I don't know if this is like, he just took a little nap and then he woke up. I don't know how long, what's the time frame of them, whatever. But uh, so as you can see, the door is wide open and the guard is dead. And uh, Cloud has no idea what's going on. And uh, so he goes to tell Tifa about it. And he then grabs a key from him. So he's able to go to his friends there and warn everybody. Uh, so uh, just talk to uh, Barrett and um, he will kind of go investigate. And... Um, basically, you just talk to him again, and he'll just say, um, that you can just go on ahead, and you just take, uh, Tifa and Aerith there, and, uh, then you'll follow, um, Nanakai there, and, um, So, uh, Barrett, Barrett's, uh, MP, or not MP, uh, Materia is, uh, is taken away and put in your inventory. So, um, I'm just, uh, prepping a little bit. Uh, there's really nothing else to do. Just, uh, kind of put Aerith with something that she can use. And, um. And just follow, uh, basically just follow the blood trail on the ground. And, uh, basically, so, uh, the torso, if you remember, that was in that container there, um, of Genova. And, uh, it broke out and, uh, I guess now is running amok and doing some killing. Um, the... I guess I could go a little bit into it. Uh, throughout uh, the story here, um, until uh, Sephiroth is revived, um, you really you see Sephiroth do stuff, but it, uh, it's not really uh, Sephiroth himself because um, Genova is kind of using. Uh, uh, Cloud's cells that he has in his body um, to manipulate him. Oh, th yeah, this is funny here. I went in the uh, the elevator and it went to the next screen, but I fought, um, I, like, did a battle. And then uh, I thought I was on that same screen, though, but when I went up, I was back on that same screen. I'm just like, wait a minute. So, uh, I just have to turn around and go back. So, yeah, I'm actually uh, cutting out a lot of uh, some battles here because there's some that you've already seen already. And um, there's no reason to keep them in. So, here we are, and the uh, president is dead. And as you can see, Sephiroth's sword is right in his back. So, um, getting back to. Uh, the Genova stuff there. Uh, Genova has been pretty much, pretty much like I would say, like two thirds of of the game is uh, just controlling Cloud and um, making him do some stuff at times. Um, it actually gets really bad later, and you'll see why. Um, so there really when you see Sephiroth uh, moving around it's actually I guess it's Genova just kind of using his image as a way to scare people because I guess Sephiroth was known as a, a, a good fighter and pretty much really hard to beat so it would be kind of a smart way to, to strike fear into people and it's just Genova's way of, I guess, trying to revive Sephiroth and get revived herself, I guess. I don't know. 
It's kind of weird. But, uh... So, yeah. So, we caught, uh... <laughs> caught this fat guy here. Uh, his name is Palmer. And, uh, he pretty much saw everything, as you just, just read there. And, uh... And they got that info out of him, so now he's going to report the same thing to uh, the president's son, who is now president. For obvious reasons. <laughs> and um, I think his name is pronounced Rufus. I might be saying that wrong, but that's how I'm, I'm going to say it. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. But uh, he's uh, he's young. I would say he's about... I don't know, probably the same age as the group here. Like, in their little 20s there. Except for Bear, I don't think he's in his 20s. I think he might be in his 30s, I think, but... Who knows? So, this guy is Rufus. Uh... He's, uh, he's gonna be in charge uh, of Shinra now, and he kind of does things a little bit different, uh, with, with the group here. He actually does not really, really take any offense to the group, I guess, because, I mean, he knows that they're not gonna accomplish anything, so he just kind of, just lets his troops, uh, take care of things, and he just doesn't. I don't want to say like he cares, but he he doesn't. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. Like he's not. He's not as ruthless, but he is ruthless. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Probably not. But anyways. So eventually, uh, Cloud will tell um, Bear here to take the rest of the group and go. And uh, we'll be having a one-on-one -on -one with. Uh, with Rufus here with Cloud. Uh, we'll be seeing that battle uh, a little bit later. We're going to uh, get control of uh, Aerith. And we're going to um, deal with, uh, with a little battle on the elevator. So um, we'll be seeing that battle here in a second. So that will be at some point here where uh, Tief, uh, you'll get a um, uh, a text box about if you want to remove uh, Tifa's and Cloud's materia. Um, I guess you can remove it, but um, I mean you, you'll need the materia that you need to uh, to fight uh, with a gauntlet on the on the um, the elevator here, but. Um, I don't. I don't want to do that because then I. I um. I want to leave everything as it is, and um. I actually put something on. I think uh, Nanakai that doesn't work on the uh, the enemies there because they uh they can't get poisoned because they're uh, machines. So um, this is just me. Um, trying to put at least something on Bear and uh, Nanakai so that uh, they have some form of magic and like right there I just put that poison material on Nanakai and that's not gonna work on anybody so so I that's gonna be just. I guess that's just there so I can level it up a little bit or something. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I, I cut out some battles here. Um, I I I keep fighting the same. Uh, when once um. Once you escape out of the the uh, the cells there, you actually fight um, uh, mo uh, actual monsters and not any like Shinra troops or anything like that. So, um, so you'll, you'll be getting like the same monsters, and I I think I've already shown them already and all that. So, so as you saw there, 
Um, as soon as you activate the, the elevator there, this boss battle uh, triggers. And, and as you can see there, that poison does not work. Just to prove it. And obviously as they're machines, uh, I would advise putting on, uh, you know, using Bolt. Um, I guess the other magic works too. Um, so there are, I believe, two, um, two enemies on this elevator battle here. Um, you got this one and then there's another one that pops, uh, that kind of flies in from above to take, uh, its place. And, uh, these battles are not really that hard. Um, I mean, with Aerith, Aerith in the party there, um, her limit break there can heal everybody. So, if she, once you get that, you know, just kind of use it when you need to. So you can, uh, so you can save on your magic. And I, I think I, yeah, I, I do, uh, use it at some point. And, um, well, like right now. <laughs> So what I did here was I had um, I had Barrett use his fire magic and um, Aerith use the ice magic, and then I guess like as you see right here, I I didn't need to, but I was gonna have Nanakai just use grenades because I have quite a bit in my inventory. Yeah, I got like ten of them. So well, this is a thing here that uh, flies in from above there. I I don't know what their what their HP levels are. I I don't know what, how much they have. Um, as you saw, that one just has a, a sleeping attack. So um, I guess be careful of that. Uh, I guess just don't worry about. Uh, I mean, you could attack uh, the person that wake them up, but that that would hurt them, and you might actually. Um, hurt them too much and, uh, and uh, you know, actually eventually get them killed. So just let them uh, just wake up on, um, you know, naturally. It will wear off after like uh, a few turns, I think. Well, yeah, like I said, I, I don't really think uh, these battles are really hard. Uh, just kind of, yeah, there you go. It's, it's, they don't have, I don't think they have much HP. I think they only have like a few thousand. So, so with that, uh, Aerith got her all materia uh, that she was equipped with. I got leveled up, and you get a Mithra armament for your battle spoils. So, uh, I would advise with Cloud here, um, not just only have a cure and no all on it. I actually did that on here. I should have actually. Um, put something on my party members there, but I had Aerith there, so she was kind of my healer. So I didn't really need that, but, uh... Uh, really just don't have anything that has, uh, like an all-type thing there, because, uh, you'll be fighting the, uh, two, um, enemies, uh, in this, in this battle here. Um, Rufus will have a dog on his side, as you'll see here in just a second. Right here. And uh, what you want to do is you want to take out the the dog. Because uh, the dog will put, like it's doing now, like it puts barriers up. And uh, it will just keep doing that over and over. And uh, it will do it on itself as well. And uh, just get, yeah, so like I said, just get rid of the dog so it doesn't um, protect uh, Rufus there. And I suppose you can just keep attacking him. He doesn't have that much HP either. Um, I'm just going to just resort to just using my uh, bolt magic here. I think he, you can use any kind of magic uh, against him. It works just as fine. And um, uh, yeah, there you go. He only has like maybe, I don't know, maybe 1,500, 2,000. Real easy. So, with that, uh, Cloud learned his, uh, Tier 2, um, Limit Break. So, um, I guess to sort of explain 
the limit break uh, system a little bit. Uh, the the first tier, which I guess you can call the braver um, technique on clouds, that's uh, tier one, and the crush slice is tier two. And each level has two tiers, and um, the first the first tier one um, you use that I believe it's eight times for each uh, level. And then you learn your tier two, and um, once you get your tier two, you actually have to then uh, kill a certain amount of enemies before they can learn the next uh, level first tier, and it just goes that for the first three levels there, and then level four um, limit breaks are actually learned with items. So you don't have to worry about uh, doing anything with those. And um, there are special um, spots where you have to get them. Um, like an example, um, Clouds is at uh, Gold Saucer, uh, which we'll be getting to uh, not soon soon, but we'll be getting there... I would say probably a good 10 parts later, I think, uh, depending on how, how the pacing is. Um, but uh, you're able to get his last limit break there. I, I suppose you could get it early if you grind enough times. Um, but, um, so yeah, level the level 4 ones are learned. And, and that's for everybody except for uh, one character that uh, doesn't have... Uh, only has two levels. And I think there is another person that doesn't... Oh. Yeah, there is another character that only has uh, one technique per level. And um, I think it's just... Uh, you'll see who it is. <laughs> but anyways. So here's... Here's uh, our... I believe this is our third or fourth uh, CG cutscene. And uh, we'll be getting to the, the bike scene here, which is actually, uh, actually, it's actually a fun uh, minigame. So the uh, little minigame here, uh, you'll be controlling Cloud on a bike. And you press, uh, yeah, there you go. There's the, your things there on how to attack. So, um, I was just kind of past uh, the, uh, prepping there. Um, it's good to do some prepping because, uh, after this, uh, this little mini game here, we're we'll actually be fighting a boss, uh, with the characters that you have in your party there. So, um, you know, just, just do some prepping. Uh, you'll want to have some bolt magic in your, um, uh, with your material there. So, uh, cause you'll be fighting, a, um, a, uh, machine, obviously. <laughs> so... So oh, that was that was me uh, accidentally swiping to the left. I actually meant to swipe <laughs> swipe to the right there. Um, this game, this mini game here, it's it's fun to um to play. Uh, it's kind of I don't know. It, the there's a difference uh, with the bikes there. Uh, the red bikes are they lure you away from um the the truck there, a little blue truck there that has everybody in it. And, um, the, the blue ones, they just, uh, don't care. They just go right up. The yellow ones, they kind of are cautious, but, uh, they're really easy to, uh, get down. Because they, they don't really bother with anything. And then the same thing with the, the blue ones. Um, it's really the red ones that give you the hardest time. Uh, because they keep, uh, moving away from you and trying to lure you away. And it's just, uh, sometimes, sometimes it's a little difficult to get, get a hit on them because they keep moving. And I hate this, uh, little, little camera switch there. It's really jarring. 
But uh, so, anyways, um, it, this first time here, as you see the the bars for everybody, that's the, actually their HP, and that actually does affect uh, the battle later. That's gonna happen actually here in a second. Um, so be sure not to get hit too much. So here we got uh, the last boss battle here in Midgar here. And we're actually um, going to be leaving uh, Midgar after this uh, boss battle here. So I will be saving um, saving my game and ending the part off uh, when I get outside. So that will just be your heads up there. So like I said... Uh, uh, this guy is weak against, uh, well, I guess pretty much all the magic stuff there. Uh, but be sure to tap your escape, uh, uh, buttons there, because, uh, it will be a back attack. Ooh, excuse me, a back attack. And, um, um, so you don't, you just kind of tap that so you don't get, uh, uh, back attack damage. If you, if you do tap, uh, your thing there and get facing forward, um, you won't take as much damage. So I just saw thanks to uh, tier two uh, bolt there uh, really shows shows uh, of us uh, what what for <laughs> and as you can see uh, clouds equipped uh, fire uh, material got leveled up so now that should have um, I believe it's that one that only had fire one so it should have fire two now it might have fire three I'm not sure. So, uh, so now the party, um, decides to actually leave, uh, Midgard, because, uh, now they need to, uh, go after Sephiroth here, and, um, they need to go through a cave, um, they, well, we're actually just following, um, rumors on where he was, I guess, um, and um there's a rumor that he is going uh west um if you look at the map other thing there and uh we have to go through um we stop at a town um after here and um we did we just take a little break and cloud just basically just tells a story from the past there but uh, you'll see that in a little bit uh in the next part there so <laughs> bear here is uh making we need to make a leader so uh, to manage everybody and we pretty much already have somebody and cloud's been doing that the whole time here so i might as well earth is just like well this is like cloud to keep doing it So, Bear here uh, uh, suggests that we go to a town called Calm, spelled with a K, and um, that's where where we'll meet up in here, uh, Cloud's story there. But uh, I'll just cut to when I have everybody here. But anyway, so this is the end of the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys in the next video there. So take care, guys.